Hey YouTube, how we doing? And welcome back to my show. My name's Phil. Thank you all so much for stopping by. We're here today to talk about Chelsea against West Ham. What a game, guys. I thought it was an okay game. A lot of people are saying that Chelsea look really laboured in their win. Mm, I would agree with aspects of that, but I thought it was an okay game. I think if you're a West Ham fan, you feel hard done by it that you didn't get a point out of that game. Because other than the, the first goal and then them them two late goals by Tammy Abraham I thought West Ham were totally in the game looked the better team I thought Declan Rice run the midfield I think he's such a complete midfield player flair defensive he's like that utility player that you can rely on I, I believe that he will be a future England captain great footballer for me I don't get for Chelsea why Jorginho starts over Kovacic I just don't get it I, I don't understand Kovacic for me should always be in the starting eleven. He makes things happen. He's flair. He, he, you know, he's got vision. He's got skills. He can defend. He, he doesn't play the kind of negative football that Jorginho plays. It when I see Jorginho on the ball and he's always passing the ball back, it really grates on me, guys. I can't tell you that. Sometimes I think Jorginho's football and yeah, he's a great player and a great guy, but his football is very negative sometimes. Kovacic is he plays with this kind of. You know, this great vision of football. He's got flair, he's got skill, he's got passion on the ball and he makes things happen. I thought Pulisic looked good, but again, I'm always worried that he's going to take a knock. Timo Werner, there's a part of me that thinks he's an out-and-out -out striker and playing on the wing, it just is not suiting his game. Tammy Abraham looked good, you know. Let's talk about Tammy. I, I, I know we just wanted to speak about Timo, but I've not really got anything to say about Timo that... He needs to score goals and it just doesn't seem to be happening. Tammy looked good. I thought that, you know, them two late goals would have done his confidence. The world are good. I still believe the French playboy Giroud needs to be starting the next game against Villa. I do. I, I just think he, he has to be in there. Sure, you know, Tammy Abraham is a great footballer and I think he could be a new great for Chelsea up front. He's a great guy. I've, I've got a lot of time for Tammy as a supporter, I think he's great. He does loads for the community. You know, he's Chelsea through and through. But is he that Diego Costa? Is he the Ida Johnson? Is he the Hasselbank? Is he the Drogba? I just, I just don't think he is. Will he be in a couple of years? Maybe. But for the time being, I think if we want the top three to maybe do well in the competition, we need to be playing Giroud. Definitely, I would start him against Villa. 100%. You've got... I, I like Tammy, but... Sometimes, he, he just, I, I, I think his vision of play sometimes lacks that kind of, that goal-scoring instinct where I think Drew's got, what, what Drew has got, you know, he can score goals, he can make things happen. Thiago Silva looked great. I, I, I think he is proven to be Chelsea's possibly best sign in the season. But, you know, Ben Shear will get an injured. You kind of go, how long is he going to be out for? Hopefully not long. But I, I think Emerson's great. Emerson gets a lot of stick. But I think Emerson just needs a few games in that team. And I think he is a good kind of second left back for Chelsea. You know, Aspie looked great at right back. Did a few mistakes. But, you know, we know that that's Rhys James's position. But we, we know that Rhys James may have, a, may have surgery on his knee. So... You know, Asper Laqueta is the perfect kind of substitute right back for the time being. So I'm not really worried about that. You know, you've got Billy Gilmore in the wings waiting to get on. Chelsea do look good, guys, and, and I believe that Chelsea will be up there. But they've got to beat teams in the top half of the table. They've got to beat the Man City. They've got to get a point, you know, against teams like Liverpool. They've got to be beating Tottenham. United look good, didn't they? United are climbing back up there. And I think that fight... For the top four, it's going to be tough. Do I think Chelsea can be up there in that position? Yes, but they need all their players back fit. Ziyech, for me, is proving to be a big, big loss for Chelsea at the moment whilst he's injured. And what a signing for £32 million. Absolute class player. He makes things happen for Chelsea. So when he's back fit, I believe that Chelsea will be firing on all cylinders 100%. But, you know, you look at the season, it's still so early. They are where they are. They're, I think they're two points off second place. So there's still a lot, a lot to play for. I like West Ham, guys, watching West Ham play. I think David Moyers, you know, coming back into the fray at West Ham, a lot of West Ham fans were like, oh, we don't want him back. But actually, 
as a manager, you can see what he's trying to do at the club, and I think it's positive. But overall, I think Chelsea are in a good you know, bit of health at the moment. I think Lampard is doing wonders at the club, but again, he needs time. But yeah, they're my thoughts. Chelsea got three points, so onwards and upwards. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.